I'm Cecilia Razak, and I am co-founder of Slides with Friends, here to talk to you about five things you need to know to make a positive social impact with technology. So, number one, put people first. Um, seems obvious, but if you're building social technology, everything you do should flow from the end user and not the other way around. Uh, so I highly suggest just making a study of people in your day-to-day, -day, what they need and what sort of experiences um, are beneficial to them. This can guide you in building something that is going to be positive in a social way for them. Number two, create kind code. Um, we are human meatbags, basically. We're sensitive and we are very susceptible to nudges from marketing, from user interfaces. Um, just think of the power of having uh, organ donorship be uh, an opt-in rather than an opt-out on a driver's license form. It's easy to push us in directions. We are very easily swayed and it's hard to keep us on track. So what we need to do with our technology, if we want it to be positive, is to not use it to hijack our easily captivated human brains. Um, we want to set up our systems in our UI so that it's aimed at the benefit of our user rather than just the benefit of our bottom line. And obviously, you know, you need to keep an eye on your bottom line. Um, but it's important that if you're trying to build something for social good, your bottom line cannot rely on those dark patterns. So I'm thinking about things like um, viral sharing algorithms or addictive gaming apps. Making your code kind is just the base level of making positive social technology. All right, number three. Let's focus on community. So the tool that we're building, Slides with Friends, the idea is to um, bring people together in a, with a small group. So whoever is there, we're trying to make connections in that intra-group. So when you are building something, I think the biggest thing you can do to make it positive socially is to make sure it focuses on the group and the community rather than singling out a certain individual. Number four, um, this is kind of a general tip for anyone who's trying to run a company or anyone who's trying to build something on their own, um, you need to know yourself. Um, the more you understand your own purpose and your why, um, the easier it's going to be for you to build something that has positive effects. Um, you can't build something complex or socially beneficial if you don't have a clear path to follow. So sit down, spend some time, figure out your why. Uh, and the fifth one, once you know that, once you know yourself, uh, it's important that you broadcast your purpose, your goals in whatever you do. So if it's in your marketing, if it's in your product UI, um, it's important that you are telling your users what you're doing and how you're doing it in a clear and honest way. Um, once you know yourself, you can come back again and again to those base principles and imbue that throughout everything you do in your product. And that's going to make your product better and it's going to make your users happier with you. So we hope those were helpful and thank you so much. You can check out our tool, Slides with Friends at slideswith.com, where we do all of those things, I hope. Uh, and have a good one. Thanks.